Hi everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the OKX Futures Trading Calculator. I'll show you how you can use it to calculate your profit and loss, your take profit, your liquidation price, and so on. So if you want to learn how to use the Futures Calculator on OKX Exchange Platform, make sure you watch this video to the end so you don't miss any important information. And before I go on into that, if you are new to my YouTube channel, welcome. My name is Fred Melanio. I'm a crypto trader. And I make videos on crypto, personal finance, and how to make money online. So if you love content like this, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and please like this video. Thank you. Now to how to use the OKX Futures Trading Calculator. Now the first thing you need to do is to go to the Futures Trading page on OKX. As you can see, I'm on the home page and to go to the Futures Trading page, you come right here to where you have trade and then scroll down to where you have derivatives and margin trading. And then right here where my cursor is, you see where you have futures. So you click on it to go to the futures trading page. Now as you can see on the screen, this is the futures trading page on OKX. And in case you don't know, I already have a video on how to do futures trading on OKX. The video contains step-by-step -step guide on how to do futures trading and everything you need to know about the OKX futures trading platform. The link to that video will be in the description below so ensure you check it out if you have not watched the video so to locate the futures trading calculator you scroll down right here to where you can actually take the trade right here and where my cursor is you can see where you have calculator so you click on it right there and you can see this is the futures trading calculator on your screen now you can use the futures trading calculator to calculate your p and l p and l means profit and loss and also use it to calculate your exit price or maybe your take profit that's the meaning and you can also need to calculate your liquidation price, that is the price at which you're going to get liquidated. And you can also use it to calculate average entry price for multiple trips. So I'm going to be taking you throughout to use the futures trading calculator to calculate each of these things. Now we're going to be starting with the P and L, but before I start, please, if you have not liked this video, please ensure you like this video so more people can see it. Thank you. Now let's start with the P and L, which means the profit and loss. So let's for example, you want to calculate how much profit you'll be able to make if you enter at a particular price and exit at a particular price. This is what you're going to use. So if you want to know how much you will make or how much you will lose, this is what you're going to use. So you can see right here, we are using the BTC USDT futures trading contract. So the next thing is to pick whether you want to long or you want to short. So I'll pick the long one right here. And then the next thing is to enter your leverage. Let's say the leverage you want to use is 10x leverage. So you enter 10x right there. Once you enter 10, the next thing is to enter the entry price. That is the price that you want to enter the trade. So let's say for example, I want to enter the trade at $26,800. That is the price at which I want to enter the trade. Now the exit price is what price you want to exit the trade. So let's say I plan to exit the trade at $27,200. So this is my exit price. That is the price at which I want to stop the trade. Now, when you have open amount right here, you put the amount you want to use to enter the trade. So let's say for example, I want to use $10,000 right here. So once you enter $10,000, you come right here to where you have calculates and you click on it. Now you can see right here at the right side of the screen, you can see your results. So your margin is $991. Now this margin is how much you are dropping from your own wallet. So that's what you have as margin. That's the meaning of margin. So you are dropping $991 from your own wallet. And then the profit and loss is $148. So the profit you are going to be making from this, if you enter at $26,800 and exit the trade at $27,200, you are going to be making $148. And the percentage of that is 14.92 percentage. So that's the percent you are going to be making. And the maker fee is minus $1.98. And the taker fee is minus $4.95. Now, let me explain this maker fee and this taker fee. Now, you need to know that you are not paying these two fees. You're only paying one of them. We're not paying the two together. You're only paying one of these fees. So let me explain what the maker fee is and what the taker fee is. Now, the maker fee is the fee which the trader pays to the exchange when they place a limit order. So if you are using a limit order to take your trade, you are going to be paying the maker fee. So you need to understand that. And the taker fee is the fee paid by the trader to the exchange when the trade order is executed. That is when you use market order. So the difference is that you will pay the maker fee if you are taking your trade using the limit order and you will pay the taker fee if you are using the market order. So the other type you are using will determine which fee you are going to pay right here. Now let's for example, you want to short. So you can come right here. Let's pick short right here. So I'll change the short right here. 
And let's say the leverage you want to use is 15x leverage. So let's say 15. And then let's say you want to enter at this price. Let's say the entry price at 26,800. And your exit price, you know, your exit price would not be lower because we are shorting. That means you are predicting that the price will go down. So let's say, for example, want the take profit or the exit price to be $26,200. And then the open amount, let's also leave it at $10,000. So you come right here and click on calculate. Now, after clicking on calculate, you can see right here the results. So you can see the margin is $661. Don't forget again, I said margin is what you are dropping from your own wallet. And then the profit is $222. And then the percentage is 33%. So you will also see the maker fee and the taker fee. Now, let's for example, you have a stop loss and you want to see how much you're going to lose if the trade gets to that stop loss. So let's say the stop loss is $27,100. So let's change it to $27,100. That's the stop loss. So you want to see how much you're going to lose if the trade gets to that price. So you just come here and click on calculate right here. And you can see right here, you're going to be losing $111 and that's 16%. So you're going to be losing 16% of your money. That's the meaning. So that is how you can use the futures trading calculator on OKX to calculate your profit and your loss. Now, the next one is exit price. Exit price means that you use to calculate the price at which you're going to take your profit. So if you have a particular profit in mind that you want to make, this will help you calculate where you should put your take profit. So the first thing you need to do right here again is to pick whether you want to long or you want to short. So let's start with long again. And then next thing is to pick the leverage. So let's say you want to use 10x leverage. And then the exit price, let's use the same exit price as 26800 And then next thing is the open amount. So let's say this time, let's change it to $5,000. And then let's say the P and L product is profit and loss is maybe $100. So let's say I plan to make $100. That's what I plan to make. So you can see right here is USDT. If you want to put it in percentage, let's come right here to where you have switch to percentage. So if I click on switch to percentage right here, the only thing I'm entering is the percentage. So let's say I want to make 20% profit. I'll just do 20% profit. I hope you understand the difference. So let's leave it as this 20% profit. So once you've done that, just come right here and click on calculate. So you can see the exit price is $27,336. So what this means is that if you enter the trade at $26,800 and you're using 10x leverage and you want to make 20% profit, this price right here will be your take profit. This is where you set your take profit. So that is the meaning. And let's say for example, you want to short, just change it to short right here. Let's leave it at 10x leverage. And also let's leave the entry price at $26,800. And let's let me change this to P and L. Then put the actual amount I want to make. So let's say I want to make $150. Let's say that's what I want to make. Then I'll click on calculate right here. So you can see where I'll put my take profit. Remember, we are shorted. So the take profit will be lower than the entry price. So that's how you can also use the futures trading calculator on OKX to calculate your exit price. Now, the next thing is the liquidation price, right? Here. Don't forget, liquidation price is the price at which you get liquidated. That is, you lose your money. If you want to know more about liquidation on OKX, I explained it in the futures trading video. Again, the link to that video is in the description below. Now, the first thing you need to do here again is to pick whether you want to long or short. So let's pick long right here. And then next thing is to select your margin mode. Now we have isolated and cross margin mode. I also give a full explanation of isolated margin mode and a full explanation of cross margin mode in the futures trading video. So again, the link is in the description below so let's pick isolated margin right here so i'll pick isolated margin and let's say the leverage is 5x leverage let's put that 5x leverage this time and then let's say the entry price is 26,800, and then let's say the open amount is five thousand dollars now you see where you have additional margin this is maybe if you want to add additional margin while the trade is going on but if you don't want to do that just leave it so i'll just say leave that and then just come right here and click on calculate so if i click on calculate right here so you see right here, this is what my liquidation price will be. So what this means is that if the trade goes against me and the price of BTC goes down to $21,536, I'm going to be losing all my money. That is the meaning. So you need to take note of that. So this is your liquidation price. So in case you want to know your liquidation price before you actually take the trade, you can actually use the calculator to do that. Now, the next thing is the average entry price. How do you use the OKX futures trading calculator to calculate your average entry price? Now, this is for multiple trades. Let's say you are taking multiple trades of BTC USDT and you want to know the average entry price. This is what you can use it to do. Now, the first thing again is to pick whether you want to long or you want to short. 
after you've done that let's say for example you have existing positions right here like you have positions you've already taken and just come right here and click on load existing positions but let's say for example you don't have just come right here to enter it manually so the first one is your entry price let's say for example the first trade you enter at twenty six thousand eight hundred dollars and then you entered with let's say two thousand dollars now to add the next trade you come right here to where you have add position and click on it and then you enter the second trade so let's say the second trade you enter at twenty six thousand nine hundred and eighty dollars and then you entered with let's say three thousand dollars and let's say you did one more trade and then for that one let's say for example you entered at twenty six thousand seven fifty dollars and then you entered with let's say thirty thousand five hundred dollars so once you've entered all of that then you come right here and click on calculate so you can see right here the average entry price is twenty six thousand eight hundred and forty two dollars so that's the average entry price for all these three trades that's just the meaning of that so this is how you can use the okx features trading calculator to calculate your profit and loss your exit price your liquidation price and your average entry price if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below and again if you want to learn how to do futures trading on okx link to that video is in the description below thank you for watching i'll see you in another video bye